Vic, Sonny, it's time we did a comments video. Oh shit, will this involve reading? Yeah. Shit! Okay, great start to the video. Off we go. Comment one. Dayton does comment it on our Devil's Express review. Dayton says, more black exploitation, please thanks. What, you mean like in general? Yeah, like he's saying he'd like to see more black exploitation in society? I think he means he wants more reviews of black exploitation movies, guys. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Movies. Yeah. Well, that's a horse of a different color. I, I can get behind that. Yeah, because we don't black exploit anybody, okay? And we don't sex exploit nobody neither. Right, Freddy? Don't worry, Dirty Sanchez. I mean, Dayton. These guys watch those old black exploitation movies all the time, so you'll be seeing a lot more of that stuff on the channel. You might even see some familiar faces from the Devil's Express. Like me? I wasn't talking about you, Vaps, but yeah. I imagine you will be reappearing on that show that you run and force these guys to produce. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Whew. That's a relief. I thought I was on the bubble there for a minute. Who could fire you? You should know as well as I do, Snick. Hell runs like a business. And that business model is so convoluted that if you really knew how all the rules worked, your head would explode like a big bucket of guacamole! Well, I wouldn't want that. Anybody in the mood for tacos? Vapula, didn't your dad get you this job? Well, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I kind of think it was on account of my merit, but, uh, uh, he, 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 he still ain't my boss. You guys better hope you never meet him. Ooh, we're so scared, aren't we guys? Actually, yes, I'm soiling myself. A chipmunk looked at me once, and I tripped over a lawn gnome when I tried to run and hide. Ha! <laughs> Whatever, you guys weren't even there. You didn't see the look in that chipmunk's eyes. Lifeless black eyes, like a doll's eyes. When he comes at ya, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites ya, and those black eyes roll over white and then... Oh, then you hear that terrible, high-pitched screaming! Yeah, yeah, everybody remembers the time the chipmunk scared you. Let's move on to comment number two. Burke the Boy left a comment on the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark trailer reaction video. Burke the Boy says, I saw the Jangly Man trailer for the movie and they're putting the Jangly Man in the story, Me, Taido, T. Walker, and the Jangly Man in the movie is going to replace the singing severed head from the original story. Have you guys watched that movie yet? Nah, I'm too afraid of being disappointed. A lot of people liked it though, so maybe it's pretty good. But I'm just too attached to those books. I just don't think this movie could compare. Probably not. But well, that doesn't mean it isn't a good movie. I saw a lot of the concept art by Vincent Pros, and it looked pretty good. We should give it a chance, Vic. It might surprise you. Yeah, maybe. Well, Burke the Boy, we haven't watched the Scary Stories movie, but we have confirmed you are correct. The Jangly Man does recite the phrase, Me but the jangly man's physical appearance resembles the assemblage of corpse parts referred to as the great gangling man in the story who do you come for so they must have combined those two stories together yeah it's like that big toe story there's at least another three stories with the same basic premise in the book series the ghost in the movie trailer looks like the dead girl from the story the haunted house so i'm sure the entire movie is filled with crossovers like that the biggest difference in me, Taito T. Walker, though, is that instead of the protagonist being an old lady, it's a kid with a talking dog! If they put a talking dog in the movie, I'm all in! Comment number three is from the Power Rangers review. That was a long one. Long and depressing. Yeah, but it seemed to keep Lorenzo Torres Jr. entertained, because he says, Hey kids, do you like the Power Rangers and violence? Fuckers. You guys are funny. Subscribe. Keep up the shenanigans. Shenanigans? That's Irish! That means that's your department, Seamus! Who, me? Yeah, you fucking potato juice drinking, blarney stone kissing, cereal mascot looking motherfucker! Leprechaun I am not! Shut up! Do what the subscribers say and make with the shenanigans! Uh, uh, um, ha ha ha! You're dumb! Ha! Huh? You're Irish! That's stupid! Dance, idiot! Dance! You don't have to keep doing that, Sonny. But what about me pot of gold? What? 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 Oh, uh, I mean, thanks! I get confused when I'm forced to do physical labor. Comment number four. Here's another nice compliment. Yeah! Yeah, let's have more of those! John Smith commented on your video review of Murder Weapon, and he says, Fucking hilarious. Thanks! Wait, did he mean us or the movie? It, uh, wasn't specified. Couldn't it be both? No. Oh. 
Let's try to stay positive, guys. Here's another one. Comment number five. Richard Bird left a comment on your hereditary review, and he says, Thanks, Vic and Sonny. You've staved off my inevitable depression and do self-immolation for another few months. Love the review. Wow. Really? Whoa. That's heavy, man. Uh, dinguses? You guys are supposed to be doing the opposite of making people feel better. You're supposed to be ruining their movie watching experience, thereby ruining their lives. That's the whole point of this channel. It's what I pretend to pay you for. Yeah, that's what we're pretending to do. Yeah, get off our back. It's not our fault Dickie Bird doesn't want to get Gabriel burned to death. That's literally the same fucking joke you told in the review. Comment number six. Nico the Legend left a comment on the Elves review and he says, Grinch tits. I don't have Grinch tits. The Grinch's tits are furry. Everybody knows I'm hairless from the neck down. Ugh. Yeah. You hear that, ladies? It's like rubbing a wet balloon all the way down my happy trail. Hey, uh, that's gross. Listen, I've decided I'm glad that Richard Bird kid didn't immolate himself. Because check out his comment on the Elves review. Uh, hey, you, read that one. That, oh, okay. Comment number seven. I laughed when Vapula said the opening credits looked covered in jism. Does this make me immature? You know what's really immature? All the spermies in that baby goo. Them little guys are proto-infantile. Yeah. See, I like that one because it's a compliment to me. And it's got, like, an informative, observational tidbit on the side. Okay, I think that's enough comments for now. What, we're not, we're not going to ten? I never said this was a top ten list. Seven is one more higher than I can count anyway. Good point. Well, thanks to everybody who took the time to comment. We really appreciate all the feedback. Yeah, and the compliments are nice too. Nah, there's too many of those. Not enough shit posting and long-winded diatribes explaining why your opinions are always wrong and bad. Check out the Twitter feed sometime. Don't tell me to go to Twitter. Might as well tell me to go to hell. Well, if any of you out there feel like following the Ruiners on Twitter, there's also a good chance that your tweets will be featured in another video like this. And I just joined Letterboxd! Sorta. I'm still figuring it out. But if you'd like to follow me there, feel free. I'll be writing all sorts of reviews, like, uh, the significance of sexual liberation and atavistic morality found in movies like A Nymphoid Barbarian and Dinosaur Hell, or, uh, An Existentialist Guide to Understanding Howard the Duck. Just keep those comments coming, kids! Fuck yeah! And thanks for helping to make our job so much fun! Yeah, yeah, this was a pretty fun video to do, Freddy. <coughs> Vic, your intestines are falling out of your diaper. Flop! Ew! Ooh, my kid cuisine is ready! Can I have the brownie? <coughs> In your dreams you get my brownie, bitch! Well, thanks for watching, kids. Man, I gotta get a new gig.